Hey YouTube, what's up? We're back, and uh, if you recall from the Wu-Tang Clan video we did, um, we asked you guys about doing a Q&A, so we asked you to ask questions in the comments, and we would try and do a Q&A video and give, us, uh, give you guys some answers. Yeah, hey, uh, hopefully you won't see the elitism in us too bad in this video. We're going to answer some of the questions. Some of them are hip-hop questions, some are metal questions, some are video reaction questions. And some are just uh, personal questions. Um, we're gonna kind of rapid fire through them because there's a lot. So let's get started. All right, awesome. We're gonna start with the hip hop questions. Uh, so Zach Pantelis asks, has making these reaction videos resulted in any hip hop being added to your playlist? I, the only hip hop I've listened to uh, since making these videos are the same songs in replaying the videos. Uh, and then the Weird Al version of the Hamilton medley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty uh, much it. No, same songs we played. Same answer as uh, Grimby. By the way, I'm already, oh, this is Darth Grimby. Hello. Uh, there's a local hip-hop group called The Cauldron Project, and um, I, I've been spinning that. Um, so, yes. And actually, I've played it a lot more than I think I would have played it before we started this hip-hop journey. Oh, cool. So, yes. I'll have to revisit it, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we've had a couple of people ask this question. Uh, Jake Lay asked, how familiar were you with hip-hop in general before you started doing these reactions? Uh. And then Gio asked, did, <laughs> did you know a single or a few hip-hop songs before you started these videos? And if you did, what was it? I've, had a, I've seen some comments where you think we're pretending that we don't know hip-hop. Okay, so where would we have heard hip-hop? MTV. I don't watch MTV. Much music. I don't watch much music. Does that even exist anymore? Uh, the radio. I don't I listen to the radio. Uh, on YouTube, I suppose. I don't watch hip-hop videos on YouTube. Where would we have heard hip-hop? Nowhere. Ever. <laughs> so, I don't know. No, I did not know who Nas was. People think, how the hell do you, have you never heard Nas? I know. Well, I, sorry to say, <laughs> no, I have not ever heard of Nas. I, I actually asked a few people um, around, like friends or colleagues or whatever, do you know Nas or do you know Nas? And people are like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have done it for fun. I think one person said, yeah, a hip hop guy, Nas. Um, but I mean, I hope you guys know, like, our cluelessness is real. <laughs> and I'll, I'll add to that, I guess, I do know some songs, like one that really stuck out for me. Um, I don't know if anyone ever recommended it. Old Dirty Bastard. Oh, yeah. Baby, I Got maybe, Your Money? Maybe that one. That song there? <laughs> maybe that one. I don't know why. I know that one, because it's had, funny. I had a friend years ago who kept playing it, and I almost recited the whole song. <laughs> I, I won't do it here. No shit. I know that song. Like, maybe the very big songs will know. Like, Gangster's Paradise. Or oh, yeah. Whatever. Like, I... Weird Al covered that, so there's yeah. Weird Al coming back. So, like, again. yeah. So, I hope that answers it a little bit. Lord Quasimodo. Yes, of Notre Dame. <laughs> Uh, what has been your take on hip-hop so far? What has been your take? What does it mean? Like, I guess, what do you think of hip-hop now that you've been reacting? I mean, I would say I definitely have more appreciation yes. for the for the talent that goes into it. Me too. Uh, especially, like I said before, in the lyricism. Um, I still think, I mean, my preconceived notion is that the music is very basic and very samey, samey, and I still think that, but... I definitely see that there's a lot of work and talent that goes into making a hip hop song. Yeah, I try. I stay a, a kind of away when I'm listening to it from the music part, and I focus more on the uh, lyrics. Uh, I think that's where the best part of hip hop lies, and its lyrics. I guess the and other I thing. I, that. Sorry, the other thing I would say is that the fans of hip hop seem to be very ravenous, very similar to metalheads. Oh yeah. Um, and so yeah, I think that's why we've had such an engagement from the, from YouTube so far. Yeah. Um, and that's been cool to see. So and I guess without getting further into it, there's been a lot of parallels that I've seen between metal and hip hop. Yeah. Me too. Uh, Joe Laraza asked, have you guys done a reaction video to a Houston rapper? So I wonder if that refers to Houston as a line coming up in the, uh, the Nas song. I don't know. I, I, I couldn't no. name you a single Houston rapper. Sorry, bud. No, I don't know. I, I mean, guess not. We only did seven reactions. So, Joe Laraza, you tell us who's a Houston <laughs> rapper we should react to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last hip-hop question, I guess. Mike Gihei asks, Guys, question. Do your, do your metalhead friends uh, give you shit for doing this? Or have you made some of them appreciate, if not like, some of the hip-hop stuff? Good question. I like this one. No. <laughs> uh, I didn't get no shit. You? Uh, 
maybe a little bit at first from my wife, who's also a metalhead. Um, but other than that, I mean, she's now into it, right? She's she likes seeing the videos and seeing the commentary. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, not really. No shit. And and, <laughs> and definitely none of them have come to appreciate hip hop as a result of the videos. I don't think. No, damn no, damn yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, hey, it's all right. It's okay, dudes. This was more around our videos and the reactions that we do and what goes into doing them, I suppose. So Tribe Ooh. Crucial Ooh. asked, what's, how do we choose the songs? Thomas Paiho Rosa, sorry if I got your name wrong. What made you want to start doing these reaction videos? Uh, okay, how do you choose what songs? Um... The first one, Biggie, it, I think I chose that one, and I went on Google, I put best rap song of all time, bang, Biggie, juicy, end of fucking selection. <laughs> and the rest? A lot of them have been just combing through comments, and early on before we got big, I guess, it was not a lot of comments, so we were kind of limited in our pool of comments. Yeah, and what made us start doing these? We like Lost in Vegas, damn. Yeah, that's the main reason, I think. And we thought, well, fuck, we could do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> but then we're like, oh no, that means we have to listen to hip hop. <laughs> and it's been but good. That was that was the funny part. Yeah, exactly. And the, I guess the only thing I would add to that is I I don't know about RDO, but I keep doing them because I'm having fun doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Good time so far. Yeah. All right. Um, Ash Whitting asks, Have you guys thought about reacting to videos other than tracks? It may give you a better sense of what songs are about and it would help differentiate between different rappers of the same song so videos videos versus just audio i think we'll i think we just end up talking about the video like hey dude's in a car dude's driving in his car <laughs> i don't want to yeah i don't want to critique videos i want to listen to music and, and analyze lyrics and i think our prejudices would be a lot louder if we're watching a video like oh look at his hair <laughs> that's true i guess yeah look at his uh funny i don't know he has a gold tooth that's a good point um <laughs> Do you watch, on Banger TV, uh, that's a shout out to Banger, uh, they recently did some reaction videos for the first time, I don't know if you saw them. They no reacted way. to Judas, they? Judas Priest videos. No way. Going back, to oh, the, the video? going back to the 70s with the old steam whistle test. Mm. Um, but the videos ended up being critique of the clothes and how they appeared and about the video quality, so it wasn't yeah. really that great to me. I don't think you guys want to hear us talk about hip hop clothes. Yeah. Maybe they do. Okay, stereotypical J. Cole fan. Who's J. Cole? J. Cole. J. Cole. Sounds like a swear, like, hey, shut your J. Cole. <laughs> I think it's an artist. Okay, yeah, it is. Stereotypical J. Cole fan. What's your favorite song you've reacted to so far? You go first. Cream. Cream? Yeah. So what's your favorite one? Uh, I would say the Nas video, New York State of Mind, or, or song, sorry, the Nas song. Ah, song. Nas. Nas. Nasty Nas. Yeah, and we knew how to say Nas. When we were going Nas, Nas, that was a joke. <laughs> right? No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know how to say it. All right, okay. Nas. Uh, Brainwash asks, after seeing the first reaction, I binge watched a ton of the music on your channel. Do you plan on creating more music videos? I enjoy them. Oh, the music videos on my channel. Like uh, 10 years ago, I mm -hmm. made a couple music videos um, for fun with some local musicians. Uh, good times. I would maybe do some more, yes. I need some better equipment. Uh, yes, it is an interest I have. Good question. Brainwashed. Metal questions. We will do some. <laughs> Nathan Wood asks, what metal artists or albums do you recommend to someone who has never listened to the genre? And uh, there's Mr. No Name, Jake One Up. They all kind of ask the same question. Thanks, guys. Uh, you want to start? This is a tough one. It is. Um, I always try and think of, like, when I see the recommendations people make to Lost in Vegas, I think, oh my God, they're not going to listen to that. <laughs> some, of the, yeah. some of the songs are just <laughs> way too off the deep end. But we get that in ours too, I think. You have to graduate to those levels, I think. You, you need to incrementally, I think, starting with the classics is a good start. Black Sabbath. Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, start with those. If you're a hip hop head, maybe you start venturing into the rap metal genres, Rage Against the Machine, Korn, uh, I don't know who else does. Basically, rap. like, we can't recommend it. Go out, check it out, find your own gateway band. Everybody's got a gateway band. 
your gateway band is gonna be some shit band that everybody likes. <laughs> like they're gonna be really, really mass consume, overproduce, over, you know, so it'll be easy for you to find it. Maybe it'll be Slipknot or Ghost or whatever. I, I love Ghost, by the way. But it's gonna be something that everybody likes and pick that band and run with it and then listen to the shit out of it and then you'll branch out. Yeah, that's a good answer. And um, maybe also watch Lost in Vegas if you haven't yet. I think most of you have. Go check out their reaction videos. They react to a lot of really classic and newer metal as well. So check those out and maybe you'll see what you like. Okay, RWM, that's the username spelled out, uh, asked several questions that I think are pretty cool. So we'll go through one at a time. Okay. One, you have gone to hell. As punishment, you have to listen to new metal or metalcore for eternity. Which would be a better definition of hell? New metal. New metal, for sure. Metalcore at least is melodic and has cool breakdowns sometimes. Yeah. Death or black, why? Don't you dare say neither. <laughs> uh, I don't know, death metal? I don't know. That's tough. I, mean, I would say black metal. So okay. There's where we differ. <laughs> But it's both. We like both. Yeah. Next one? Uh, three. I won't ask Maiden or Priest. The answer is obvious. I don't think it's obvious. That's not obvious, dude. Yeah. How, how about which of the big four is your favorite? Megadeth. Megadeth. Uh, 20 years ago, I might have said Metallica. No, it's definitely Megadeth. 20 years ago, I would have might have said Megadeth, and today it's Megadeth. Nice. Uh, Maiden or Priest? Maiden. And I've... But I love Priest. Priest is my favorite band, but sometimes I think Maiden... But it's Priest. If you could interview any musician, who would it be? None of them. Um, not interested. I have done uh, metal interviews before. I like reading them. I don't like doing them. I would like to interview Weird Al. I uh, keep talking about him. <laughs> He's hilarious. Uh, you can bring one metal album to a desert island. Which would it be and why? So the desert island disc. Megadeth, rest in peace. Something new from a band that I really love that I haven't heard yet. Oh, interesting. Last question. About how old are you guys? Yeah. Fucking old. <laughs> Older than you. Some of you. Not all. Matthew, do you, do you guys see any similarities between hip-hop lyrics and metal lyrics? Uh, I find lyrics and metal music to be more abstract and less punchlines and rhyme. But what do you think? Can you recommend metal songs that may prove me wrong? Similarities? Like uh, metal lyrics that are... I don't know. Metal, metal and hip-hop. <laughs> Whatever we pick, it'll be like, that doesn't have no flow. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> I could say which bands have good metal lyrics, like um, Opeth have great lyrics, Dark Tranquility have great lyrics, Nevermore has great lyrics. Can you think of any? I don't know. Faith No More was my favorite fusion of metal and hip-hop so mm. far to date, and maybe you might like them. Uh, Lyric-wise, I think, I think Opeth has the... There are, I don't really pay attention to metal lyrics a lot, but I, Opeth is a band that I do. And I think overall thrash metal lyrics tend to be the most lyrical. Tend to be, they, there's a lot of rhymes and a yeah. so focus on delivery and making sure that the rhyme kind of punches. Yeah. But there is not going to be like triple meanings and shit like that and uh, a lot of uh, slang. No, not in thrash metal. <laughs> it's all about. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Baden Jones. What are some of your favorite metal bands? What's your favorite metal instrument? All right, you want to go? Favorite metal bands? I don't know. We talked about some of them. Priest, Maiden, Kalma. I guess just look at the shirts we wear half the time. The shirt will be the best way to find out yeah. what a metalhead likes. And the, the worst way is to ask what's our favorite band because there's, there's a lot. I, I don't like answering it. Uh, last year it was um, Septic Flesh Codex Omega. I wrote it down. Uh, Aether Realm. Tarot and Nightfly Orchestra, and in 2016 it was Bellicor, Vector, and uh, Catatonia. So, yeah, that Vector album was so, so sweet. those have been my favorite albums that year. I don't really have a favorite band anymore. My favorite album this year is Priest's new album, Firepower. It's awesome. Second favorite is Necrophobia. That year just started. I know. Um, and uh, metal? Do I like vocals or guitar? I don't know. That's not that's not a fair question. Favorite instrument in metal? Yeah. It depends on the band and the Yeah, song. yeah. 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 Okay. Still a cool question. 
Thanks. Charlie Brown asks, what genres of metal do you guys listen to? Everyone except Stoner. I would say everything including Stoner, but excluding... I don't, know, like... I don't listen to Ambient that much. Maybe anything with post in it. <laughs> oh. No, I don't know. I'm just being facetious. Um, so if you're wondering by genres, you might want to research some, but uh, like, there's a lot of metal genres out there. Um, the big genres are death, black, heavy, thrash. Power. Power. All of those. Doom. Doom. Then there's all the sub-variations. Black and doomed. Melodic Technical, death. Technical. Progressive. Uh, progressive this, progressive that. We all those. Gothic all I like things. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Mechanis123 asks, will you guys do any rock or metal reactions to something new or something you don't know? Yeah, we're going to try and do that for you. Yes. Alright, next one. Fury Inferno. Best prog band. I don't like these best questions. Uh, they're not fair. Uh, and especially if you go into prog, uh, hordes of Dream Theater fans will attack you from the shadows. So I don't like answering it, but Symphony X. Opeth. Oh. Rush. Evergrey. Rush. Well, it didn't say prog metal, right? Just best prog band. Yeah. Fun question. Mm -hmm. Terminal asks, what's your favorite Metallica album? Do you think, what do you think about Guns N' Roses? It's like, what? <laughs> Metallica, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear your answer to the first question for sure. Ride the Lightning, because Dave Mustaine's on it. Or, you know, his aura is on there. I like, uh, and Justice for All. Mm. And Guns N' Roses, to me, they're a rock band that I, or they're okay, I don't listen to them, but you. Appetite for Destruction is my favorite album of all time. It's so good. I could play it end to end in my head. <laughs> every note, every riff. Sergio Pacheco. Uh, hey, Metalheads, love your videos. Also, quick question. Are you guys going to go to Slayer's last tour? Mm. It's not coming around here. I don't know. I don't Maybe. know. We I've seen him three times, and uh, I don't know that I need to go. I've seen them, yeah, four four times. I've enjoyed them every time. If uh, they come around somewhere where I'm at, I'd go see them again. Michael asks, "Hey, have you guys ever listened to Propaganda from Winnipeg? Their early releases in the '90s were more pop punk, but they're now they're doing uh, dark metal stuff." Sorry, no, I haven't heard of them, and uh, sorry. I've heard them. And, uh, you have one? Yeah, the, we have a, a, a friend in common who's listened to them and recommended them to me. Uh, they're cool. They sound good. Mm. Um, it's not something I have on my playlist, but when I hear their, their stuff, it's good. Their last two albums in particular. Wow, so is there still some pop punk left in there? No. It's, oh. it's punk with a harder edge, like the guy's kind of saying, the metal influences. Regular burns. <laughs> 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 Question to you guys. What is your opinion on bands like Death Heaven, Merker, or Liturgy that lots of metalheads tend to classify as hipster metal and completely write them off because they don't wear crazy true cult clothing? They are hipster metal. Death Haven is good. Merker, uh, I've watched the video. It's all right, whatever. I'm not that interested in them. Liturgy, I don't know. Uh, but Death Haven, I really like what their their album. Uh, what is it? Sunburner or something like that? Sun Sunbather, <laughs> Sunburning. <laughs> I can't. I don't remember every album I listened to, but that 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 one is good. And uh, and it doesn't matter what a metalhead wears in a band. Holy fuck, Bellacore, They look like the most plainest dudes ever. <laughs> and they are killer. So it doesn't matter. Clothing does not matter in metal. I don't know Death Heaven or Liturgy or what they look like, uh, or that it's considered hipster metal. I didn't know it was. Mm. But I went to a metal show not too long ago, the Decibel Tour, with Enslaved, Wolves in the Throne Room, Kenneth, and Merker, who, going into the show, I didn't know too much oh, about Oh, you went them. to see Merker? Yeah. Okay, and? It was fucking cool. Oh. Huh? And they looked pretty metal. The singer is a female singer. She sings uh, the lead vocals, and she was dressed in black. She had a cool aura. They all have hoods on their heads, so they look pretty metal. Maybe it's hipster, I don't know, but it sounded cool. Cool. Yeah. Roberto Lang asks, you guys said you are metal elitist, so I couldn't help myself and ask what your thoughts are on baby metal. 
uh, hey, if you like baby metal, great. I think they're a gateway band. I think they're going to get people into metal, so great. But I don't think that band, when they're writing songs, are thinking about dudes like us. Very well answered. I have nothing to add. I do have an elitist stance with it when it comes to them. I listened to one song. It wasn't for me. That's it. Uh, Mr. W, uh, you want to... Oh, Mr. W, great videos, guys. What first got you both into metal? Any particular artist or album? Uh, ACDC, Highway to Hell. I would say um, Quiet Riot, Metal Health is probably the first one. Uh, Metallica, Kill Them All. And Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. <laughs> Made in Mex asks... Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Pancakes. <laughs> Fernando Lopez, how did you guys meet? Where do you think? At a metal show. Yep. <laughs> Simeon O oh, and also many other people have been asking when we listen and react to these hip hop songs, how can we not? Oh bother my him? god, yeah, look, I cut out all those head bobbing questions. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, where'd they put? Oh, I put them somewhere. Did you? All right, I'll just, I'll go back to it. And I don't know, it's just, it's not... You bob us. a little bit. A little. Yeah. And even if, so even if it was a song that I was really into and really liked, I probably just, I'm not going to physically react that way. I don't, I really have a good answer, but I think partly it's that we have like 25,000 subscribers and we're holding some sign, I'm holding some sort of composure and I'm trying to think and be rational about listening to this stuff and come out with really rational thoughts. And uh, so there's a lot going on. It's not that music, I'm not jiving with it. Um, Cause I, I think I would if I was a little more relaxed. I'm a bit less relaxed here um, and maybe that's all. That's all that is. I don't know. Yeah, it's a fair answer. Mateo Jackson asks, where are you guys from? I think I answered before, we're from Canada. Yep. East Coast. East Coast, New Brunswick. And uh, yeah, small place. Uh, Ryan Beruzzi asks, what are your jobs outside of YouTube? Uh, I think we're going to stay a little private on that one. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, just other than... YouTube isn't a job. We're just doing this for fun. Yeah, there's... We're making zero money from this. Yeah, videos. you know how much money we make off <laughs> YouTubes? And because the videos get caught up in the copyright thing, which is fine. Uh, we're not doing this for money. It's okay. And uh, we work. We make money. We're good. That's <laughs> a good answer. Yeah. Luis Gomez asks, how long did it take to let your hair grow out? I don't know. A long time? Yeah. Long time. I've always had long hair since I was like 15. I've had long hair since roughly the same age. I cut it for a while and then I grew it back again. Excellent questions. Um, I think that ends it up. I just want to say at the end, we should have said this at the beginning, but um, thanks for watching these videos and subscribing. You always say it, but it's a cliche, I think, but we never thought, I never thought that we'd get so many subscribers. And we have a lot, and I appreciate it, and it's insane. Like, it's insanity. I, I have no idea um, how come we have so many, and they just keep coming in. And I have had some comments like, don't do this because you're going to lose subscribers. That's okay, we're going to keep doing our way, and if we lose subscribers, well, that's okay. Because this is not a big money-making machine for us. <laughs> We're just doing this for fun. And yeah, it's, it's cool engaging with you guys in the comments and hearing your feedback. And it was mind-blowing to me when our first video, the Kendrick Lamar video, hit 100,000 yeah. views and then kept going up. Yeah, wow. It's crazy. So, cheers. Yeah, cool. thanks. many thanks. I hope you enjoyed us answering these questions. I uh, hope it wasn't too long of a video. And we got more videos to come. More to come. Yeah. Stay metal.